Okay, so this flashes 7 fact all in off of Grax Expand. He's talking about ASL 7 and winning it. I mean, if you'll win or not. This is an old video, obviously. He's talking about soccer. He's talking about China versus Korea just like a couple of months ago. So, tutorial starting. You guys all know about racks at feet. 10.5 racks, 12 search. In Fighting Spirit, you always do end scout. Because t Fighting Spirit, Zealot first is very common. So, you need to be able to see if it's the, the Zealot ahead of time by doing end scout. So, near scouts only. So I saw Probober there, so I know where he spawned. So after 15 um, command center, you make a Marini, and then a supply depot. Then make one more Marine. So with that queued up Marine, you watch if the if you encounter a Zealot over here. If you don't, you cancel. If you do, you continue making it. Now you make a bunker. It's gonna be cross position. And then make put the SABs in gas and make one more marine. So you previously cancelled it, but you're gonna make one more here. So SCB in your main should be 9 SCBs in the in your main and everything else on your natural. So keep sending your SCBs down. So once the SCB in the main reaches 9 and your natural reaches 7, you can start um, rallying and back. Get your academy up. So now that you saw a, a Protoss natural, you can just pull your SCB back. Your scouting SCB back. You don't need to see anything more. After Academy, you just stay on one factory. So Rax Expand is going to be a little bit different. So even if you put your armory up right now, you, your second factory is going to be up really fast compared to um, factory expand. So now that your natural has SCBs in the gas,
No, after Sage mode. So off of one factory, you're going to be getting Sage mode and everything. You're going to get scammed before you get your factory. So if you haven't checked what Protoss is doing, you have you must get your second scan up. So if, so say that um, Protoss doesn't even have a, a natural at all, then you have to make defend using turrets instead. But now that since you confirmed the natural, you block, you defend Protoss aggression with your scans. Now you get your second factory should be up, and then keep making marines. You have some leeway with their resources. Get your plus one right away on your armory. For noobs, this build is pretty hard. Well, this, so you can't say that certain builds are harder than another because um, if you if noobs can't follow this build, they can't follow any build. So, so just because you say certain builds are harder than other, you shouldn't be staying away from it. You should instead be following this build instead. So to, in, in order to get be a gosu, you have to follow harder builds. So. Why not just follow harder builds from get go and practice being good? Now get tank and Goliath at the same time. And get starport up. So basically, the bus slash that was the concept of easy or hard build is flawed because in order to become good, you need to mass, you need to be able to execute harder builds. And if you're only stuck in doing easy builds, you can't do any builds. So why not just master this? And as soon as, you're, as soon as you put your star port up, you're going to be putting 4 SCVs in your natural gas. But this is only when the gas bounces the bottom position like this. Otherwise, you, make, you put 3 in gas. You put 4 in gas only when gas is bottom spawned. So now that you have enough scans saved up, you can now spam two scans. So now you check if it's a reaver or not. High chance this isn't a reaver at all. I told you before, noobs can't follow any build at all, no matter the difficulty. So, so your skill just has to go up. You have to force your skill to go up. Watch these guides, follow these guides, execute these guides. These guides are easy to follow. All you need to do is practice, put the work in. Now that starport is done, get your second armory and facility. And then you get your factory up as your gas goes up. You match your factory count with your gas count. You just keep them low and add in factories. So the reason why I stopped making my factory up, even though I said keep making factories as the gas allows, is because even if I had 100 gas, it's because I need to get my second up plus two upgrade up. So I'm saving my gas before. Now you have gas remaining. Now you're, go you're not gonna spend on factory, you're gonna get your plus one of defense. And now you're gonna make your seventh factory. When your gas allows. And once you get your starport add on up, get keep consistent tank production is key. 
So now you see that your CVs are full on fully saturated, oversaturated on both bases, right? And what, as you make these, now that your 7's factory is up, you make your second add-on. Now you're just going to be shoving in all as much production as possible as your gas allows. And now you watch what a Protoss does, how he reacts. People are asking for Protoss guys, he's just telling him to go read what I go to. So, he, he's just telling him to buy guides then from Rain and Shuttle and everyone. Just invest a little in paid guides. There's also best guides. So now all you need to do is produce. Just make stuff. Just macro. So look, there's Templars, right? Okay, you get 2 1, that's your timing to go out. SCV? So SCV, you should have around 2 control groups of each. Um, sides on the S your seventh factory go up and then you stop. So you need to have oversaturation on both bases as your seventh factory goes up. And your vessels now up. Now you get. Now you're going to prepare for EMP upgrade. So he's hunting observers right now. And as your Tuan is almost done, you get your speed upgrade, vulture speed, and mine upgrade. So this is the first time I'll be do I'm doing Rax Expand 7 Fact Dolan guide for you guys. I haven't shown you this before. So now you have to never rest units. So the critical part of this build, 7 Fact Dolan, is that your production should never be resting at all. There's nothing for you to really do anyways, other than make units. It's easy. Right, look at this. So as you get out to attack, it's, that's the timing when you get your um, expos up, third expo up. You make your extra base after. So look at this, your um, supply is much fills up much faster since it's Rax Expand. So that guy fought really well, actually. But even then, but you have too many units. You have way too many units. Let me show you the power of this build by just fighting unseized. This build is just to just believe in this build. You don't need to worry. Just believe in it. I'm not even gonna look at the fight. And while you get your 3-2, you get your 3rd up. So this build isn't really all-in. This isn't all-in. This build isn't all-in at all. Not at all. You have a, back, you have a backup plan. So against Dragoons, all you have to do is siege one tank and just put mines. Then it's really hard for the um, Dragoons to break it. So look at this. Look, when it's only Dragoons, it's really hard for him to escape this. Just one siege tank and mines. So now that the third is going to be about to be go up, transfer your CVs. And while, and while you do this, so right now, you have a couple choices. You can make extra vessels or you can make even more factories. So I prefer making more factories instead of making extra vessels. So this guy is pretty good. He made 3rd and 4th. He was able to get up to 3 and 4th cases. So thanks to this build, the game's really easy. Easy game. So it. So by easy, I mean that it's easier for you guys people like you to uh, be able to practice 
not through and then carry out those rather than winning it's it, i don't mean that winning is easy um easy means winning it's just that um, it's easier for you to execute against a Brutus. Easier to play. 